so we'll do it as fast as we can. It's a lofty goal. Ontario hopes to have 8.5 million of its citizens vaccinated against COVID-19 by July. We want to be ready to put needles into the arms of about 150,000 people across Ontario per day. To do that, the province will add four more sites to the 19 already administering the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. And tomorrow, the Moderna one is set to be delivered. We'll take delivery at four sites around the province in southern Ontario, in those hot zones, in the gray zones, in the lockdown zones where COVID-19 is, is ravaging the population. By week's end, the plan is for some long-term care residents to be vaccinated. Up till now, the rollout has only reached health care workers, and it's been slow so far. Of the 90,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine it has, 17,900 doses have been administered. It feels like we're stretched to the breaking point. Dr. Nadia Alam sees the dire need for the vaccine by the day, with ICU beds for her patients already scarce. And the slow start with the closure of vaccination sites over Christmas has some in her field worried. The reality is that our healthcare system is so siloed and so fragmented. Putting into action a mass vaccination program is proving to be challenging. Hillier is calling on Health Canada to look into the possibility of giving one dose of the Moderna vaccine instead of two to spread limited doses to a wider population faster, something Health Canada says it won't consider, at least for now. We're in a vaccine strategy that has literally existed for three weeks. So, you know, there is exploration. Follow-up shots are due in a month, but the virus won't wait. The province has already stopped reserving second doses, focused on getting the vaccine to as many people as possible. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Toronto. Epidemiologist Raywat Dionandan joins us now. So Raywat, we just heard in Sarah's story that Hillier is floating the idea of giving one dose of the Moderna vaccine. And we know Moderna requires two. So is there any data from the clinical trials to support just one? The trial says that about 14 days after the first dose, the vaccine efficacy is about 92%, which is pretty high. And 28 days after that first dose, you get your second dose, after which the vaccine efficacy goes up to 94%. And that lasts for several months, at least, whereas the immunity from the first dose lasts at least 28 days. So that's the problem here. It's tantalizing. It's tempting to think you can get away with just one dose. But the problem is the trial was not designed to measure the length of immunity for that first dose. Okay, so we have to presume Hillier and the medical teams know that medical research. So why suggest giving just one? What would be the pros and cons with that? The big pro, of course, is that you get more doses into more arms faster. So if you want to get to that magical 70% of the population being immune, which we think might be herd immunity, to get there by, say, July, you need to inoculate about a million people per week in Canada. It's easier to do that if you only have to give people one dose rather than two doses. The big con, of course, is that we don't know how long immunity for one dose lasts or, indeed, which subpopulations could best benefit from one dose. We also don't know if you can get away with waiting many months until a second dose. So there are too many unknowns here. Okay, fair enough. Ray, what do you end in? Thank you. Thank you.